What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on PS4, continuing the Kenoichi playthrough. So, I'm here at the Swamp uh, for the Swamp Foggins quest. So, this is kind of crazy. I never realized exactly how many of these quests there were. But there are five quests that are considered, quote-unquote, Black Spirit main quests. And then there's a couple of side quests, yeah. There's one, two, three, four side quests. So, there is nine quests somehow and if you include the hideous foggins quest there's 10 quests <laughs> for this area and i actually believe there's some thorn tentacles down here as well that you can mess with uh and kill so there's like 11 quests it's actually kind of insane i didn't actually realize there was that many so yeah we've got that to do i don't know how long this will take we're gonna pop the uh 300 percent well 200 percent which makes it three times xp and we're going to get into this. So, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. It'll probably take a little bit of time. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to do this. And whatever time's left, we will uh, we will go from there. We're going to complete a lot very quickly. Because there's some that's like kill three enemies. So, like, obviously we're going to get that done quickly. But yeah, this video is going to go up, I think, around like 5 or 6 Eastern time. Uh, on... Obviously, today is Friday. That means that uh, when this goes up, just two hours away from PSO2. Uh, so check back if you're interested in that. There'll be a video out as soon as physically possible. I'll record the initial video, and I will render and put it out as soon as possible. I might even keep my intro and stuff out of it to see if I can get it up a little bit quicker. But we'll, we'll wait and see. Don't want to assume anything about what I'm going to do. But yeah, so there won't be much time with this being the main... I, I try to have stuff so that people can catch it easier, be the main focus of the channel for at least, a, I don't know, at least like eight hours. Uh, that's kind of the goal I've always had, is like, can I make it so that, you know, eight hours, something's like the main attraction on the channel. But that will not be the case today. I uh, My mom was is going on vacation. Um, she scuba dives, and so she's going to... Um, uh, don't even remember where she's going to, but yeah, she's out of the country for the next week, and so I spent all morning, we went out to eat, and, uh, went to the bank and stuff like that so that she could say her cards would be getting used, you know, outside the country, and all that different stuff, so I didn't get this video recorded when I thought I would be able to record it. Uh, is this a foggin related quest? Uh, it is. It is a foggin related quest. So here is even yet another foggin related quest that you can complete. But yes, so I had all that. So that's why this video is going up a little bit later than I expected. Um, on a sad note, on my Sork, I wasted about 16 million on training books. Um, I... I wasn't thinking earlier this morning, and I preloaded a bunch of training books onto my character to last me till, like, tomorrow night. And then I sat there, and I was like, I am a complete and utter moron. I have to be on my Xbox for PS2, PSO2. So, yeah, so we went ahead and junked a bunch of cash over there on accident. Uh, but we'll make it back. But $16 million is a decent chunk of change to just be like, oh, I'm an idiot, threw that away. Obviously, it will get use. Because when I go to bed, I'll just log back on and, and use it then. But it does not uh, stop being used when you uh, log off. It still counts it, which sucks really bad. I want to kill the 50 Foggins. I think if I kill the 50 Foggins, we'll, uh, we'll complete everything. Maybe not, but I would think we will. Slaughter these. I'm going to go back down here. Because we need to get amulets and we need to get food depots. So I do need to come back down here. Not really sure what the amulets or the food depots look like. But uh, yeah, we need to get whatever those are. They, they got to be somewhere around here. Oh, so there's the fortune teller one where you got to get the... Uh, um, what you call it? I don't even know what it's called. Oh, here's a food depot. So there we go. There's one of those. Uh, where you get the amulets. We completed that one. I can't even see... I can't even track the quests because there's too many quests. So I'm just gonna try to start killing everything that has a blue... Or blue. That has a yellow dot or a blue quest objective above it. 
I think that's the simplest way to complete this. So we need to kill 15 more Foggins. I love this area so much for experience. It's so good at this stage of the game. Like, we have been farming this for, what, like five minutes? We've already gone up. This will be three levels here in just a few moments. I need to go find more of the food depots, I think. And I need to find whatever the amulets are. I don't really know what the amulet... Oh, here we go. Here's an amulet. Nice. Destroy that. Unless I already completed that quest. Maybe I, maybe it was just one of each. I already completed that, but... I thought I saw it pop up on my screen. Yeah, there we go. There's the food depots. And there's probably somewhere around here we need one more amulet. I probably can just let the one over here respawn. And did it already respawn? That'd be clutch. It's like it are... Well, no, no, no. It just doesn't disappear when you kill it. Nice. Okay, so we're already level 29. I'll probably go to at least 30 here before I decide to skip it ahead. But we are going to go turn back in those quests so we can see what goodies we're gonna get and then i can keep i can uh keep track and tell you guys because i didn't i haven't been here for a while because a lot of the story arcs don't take you here they take you to other places on the map which i've thoroughly enjoyed because you know i've done this area five billion times but i actually didn't know that this many like stuff spawned here yeah we need a uh, couple more amulets i'm gonna kill this just to kill it but we gotta wait for this amulet it looks like it respawned I think. Yes, there we go. And so there's that complete. Go ahead and slaughter these guys as they run at me. I mean, we might as well. Let's get the 30, and then I'm actually going to do the Black Spirit Summon so I can make sure that uh, it's not going to give me like a repeater or another part to a quest. So let's go over here. Let's go up to the road, get away from the enemies for just a half a second. We can check that out. All right. I don't think that guy will make it here before he turns around and runs back to wherever he came from. Okie dokie. So recovery of lost trade items. Come to think of it. Okay. So this gives me a skill XP scroll. Nothing insane, but that's not too bad. So now we need to retrieve the train of military supplies from the Swamp Foggins. Um... Let's run on back. I'm going to run on back and turn some of these quests in and see if they give us repeaters or anything different. I'll see you guys in just a second when we get back there so that I can turn these in and see what loot we got. All right, so we are back. So I went ahead and turned in some of the quests and grabbed a new one over at Galish. I forgot that the main quest ones you turn over at Galish. So I just to save us all time, you, I got five Blackstone armors and a one gold bar. So that's all you missed over there. So we're back here at this like side southern encampment to grab the good reward. So we have two gold bars down here from that guy. Uh, from this guy, we get just some XP and a skill scroll. From Anti, we're going to get um, some fog and language knowledge, uh, two gold bars, and a skill XP scroll, which is pretty nice. So we completed all those. Then there should be another turn in over here with Maul. Uh, and so this is a silver coin and two gold bars as well as a skill XP scroll. So pretty darn nice stuff. I'm actually going to take the opportunity here to clean up the inventory just a little bit. Uh, because I don't want to get overweight. Because we don't, I don't have as much space on this character as I'm used to. So I do want to keep a close eye and manage my... Um, manage my inventory a little bit better than I normally do because, yeah, like I said, I don't have as much space. So we still need to kill Nagas and Swamp Foggins. Uh, Glazed Oil is the quest that I picked up. Uh, that's for killing f uh, Nagas. We'll get that one. It's real easy. Um, it's just about like six kills or something like that. I think I'll be... Hello, die. Thank you. I should be able to complete that real quick, but I do, we'll do this quest and we'll complete this and then we'll go back to Galish and see if there's any more Fog, or er, Naga quests, not Fog and Quest, Naga quests. So we'll, let's see here, what do we need to do? I need to pay attention to what I need. So I need to kill Swamp Foggins and get Trina Knight supplies, and then I need to kill fortune tellers so i need to keep my eye out for there's a fortune teller right in front of me i need to make sure and kill the fortune tellers i know they're a little bit rarer 
of a spawn than the rest of the idiots, so I gotta make sure I get that. Let me try to group them up a little bit here. Hello, everybody. Come here. Hit them with that attack. I will start worrying about getting a... Uh, about using the rotation when we hit, like, level 50. I'm not really concerned right now because, honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna one-shot stuff anyway, so... Using set combos really doesn't matter. But if you want to know kind of the basis of what I'll be doing once I get the 50 and 56, uh, you can watch the Xbox version of the Konoichi that I did with the Awakening stuff and all that different junk. Because that will be, that, that, uh, that'll be your best example of what I'm working towards. Okay, so we need one more fortune teller. I'm just going to gather some guys up and get some free XP. Okay, they're taking a weird route. Come here. Why are, they took this weird route over here. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's slaughter them. Okay, so I need one more fortune teller right here. Hello. Okay, didn't count. Now I have to actually retrieve something from the fortune teller, so... Straight killing of the fortune tellers is not going to get it done. I might as well kill stuff and get XP while I wait to find a fortune teller. Didn't one-shot you. I guess I two-shot stuff at this point. Which is still pretty good. Okay, look at that. Three fortune tellers over here. So we'll meander over here. Hopefully these three will be enough. Yeah, one more. Or, well, not one. One more of this to complete it. And there it is. Nice. Okay, so we did get this quest completed up here with Nelson Wise. So we can turn that in. Nothing too big, but he does give you some experience for completing it. Which can never say no to that. Hideous Foggins we also completed, so I'm going to have to figure out where I turn that in because I don't exactly know. Uh, Foggin Boss Prince Tidium is up next, but let's go see about Hideous Foggins where I turn that in at. Hideous Foggins, where is this turn in at? Um, does it turn in at Glish? If it turns in at Glish, I don't need to go. Oh, that turns in all the way back at Hydell. So I'll mess with that. I'll get that later at Hydell for reference that's going to give us a bronze coin and some xp nothing crazy but uh worth probably turning in i believe we might i don't actually remember if we go back to um if we go back to Hydell at all maybe maybe we do i probably will because i'll want to clear my inventory and in order to clear my inventory more efficiently per se. I do need to go back to Hydell. So yeah, I'll go back and turn that quest in. But for now, we can't turn that quest in. Because I don't want to waste your guys' time by running back to Hydell. Alright, so let's kill Thogin Boss Prince Tidium. Ah, uh, yes. I haven't fought him in forever. I think it's been, it's been like crazy long since I fought Tidium. Kind of missed him. He's actually a little bit tougher than the other bosses. Based on health, I mean, it's not hard. None of them are hard. Let me get that. None of the bosses in the game are hard until you get, like, to, to the world bosses or you do, like, the field bosses and stuff like that. Those guys are hard, but I'm talking, like, just basic-ass enemies. They're not hard at all. Uh, where does it want me to go now for the main quest? Uh, yeah, wants me to go to Galish now. So I'm gonna get that around, see what quest we can get over there for possibly killing Nagas, and then we'll continue either... We'll probably just end this episode by slaughtering Nagas because, you know, I enjoy slaughtering Foggins and Nagas. So we might as well make it an episode out of it. Um, I'm gonna stop here and see what Darren wants real quick. What's his quest? Profound Flag. I don't know what your quest is. Uh, is interested in the red flags the cultists use. He wants to know... Um, I'll take this. I probably won't do it because it involves... It involves going to the Bloody Monastery. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to do with the Bloody Monastery, which I think is close. Yeah, it's right here. I mean, I guess we can go grab this quest and... Or we can complete this quest for him. It is 2 mil gold. And on this character, I don't have a whole lot of... I don't have a whole lot of money, so I probably should grab this quest and finish it. I mean, we're right here. I mean, I already grabbed it. I guess I'm just saying we need to finish it. 
So what do I need to do here? We need to collect intact red cloth from cultist flags. Hopefully, one, okay, can I get, can one of you give me, thank, oh no, wait, that was just a level up. One of the flags here, come on. Okay. This quest is a little weird. I'm going to actually go into the Bloody Monastery and just get a couple kills. Um, I might do the rotation once or while I'm here. While I'm here, I'm doing the rotation at least once because it just doesn't make any sense not to. It's such a great experience area, so it's very stupid for me to come all the way here and not actually farm it just a teeny bit. It's probably, if you if you do it based on, like, a, a certain number, like, if you break it down numbers by numbers, this might be the best place. Now, I like Nagas and Foggins more for leveling at this time, because I think they give a little bit more of a dispersed... They, oh, there we go. Okay, so there's that quest to complete. I just think they give a more uh, fair amount of experience, and they're a little bit more grouped up. But I really do like this area, but I like I like Foggins and Nagas more. But I think this area is a little bit better if you broke it down. I think it's better. I just, you know, personal preference. I'm not I'm not about like perfect optimization when I play through this game and I, when I play this game in general. So I don't know. I I do some weird things. But I want to grab this quest over here from this guy since I'm going to do this anyway. We well, might as well grab this quest and complete them. I believe, yeah, these are just, I don't think they're too difficult. Yeah, prison cells and 35 cultist kills. Yeah, so we'll complete these. Then we'll go back and turn that quest into Darren. Then we'll go to Glish. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll call it an episode. I think we're at like 15, 20 minutes right now. We might call, I, I, don't, know, I don't know. We might, then we can have Foggins in the next, we can have Nagas in the next episode, I guess. If I do it that way. Don't ask me why I'm going out back. You used to have to go out back when the spawns... This area might be the my favorite now, though. Um, because I didn't like this area before. Because you had to go around out back and do some weird stuff. Because time... These guys didn't respawn fast enough. But now with less enemies and faster respawn times... This might be the best area, to be honest. It might be better than... It might be... I might like it more. Because I used to not like having to run around out back. Because it's really bad spawns back there. Like, there's not a lot of enemies. But it was enemies to kill. So it was better than just sitting here sucking your thumb doing nothing. So. Might actually. I never thought about that. I just thought about that right now when I went back there. Because I forgot. That was kind of the rotation. You went to the back. And you went from there. So, we did complete those two quests already, so that was nice and easy. But yeah, the respawn rate now, I think if you just do this and then you come up here, I think there's a more efficient way than what I'm doing right now. But I also do think that this is better. Because, like, you, you want to go, like, here and then you want to go, like, up those stairs. And then you want to go through the church, slaughter those guys in the room, and then... um and then go around because then kill the guy that's in the middle because then i think the respawn rate is quick enough so let's go so i'm gonna cut ahead for you guys so you guys don't have to watch me i'm just gonna turn in these quests here turn in the quest to darren and then head to glish so that we can continue with the main quest as well as maybe find some different things so you guys know we got the two gold bars from darren that's what we'll get when i turn these in you get three from this guy and then you get one so it's four the typical amount uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in just a moment in Glish, more than likely. Alrighty, guys, we are back to wrap up this episode here. We're gonna go ahead and slaughter some bandits. That is our quest now. We are all the way over here because there was no f Naga quest. And then it took me on a world tour back to Hydel where I turned in that quest for the bronze coin. And, uh, yeah, we went on a world tour of different places. So now we're here slaughtering bandits there's about five bajillion quests again that you can do which is uh very nice but uh yeah we're gonna try to wrap this up quickly i'm not gonna overly take my time slaughtering the bandits it's already a decently long episode and so i don't want to make it too long i don't want to release this too close to when we're gonna drop pso2 videos so i don't want to make this 
I have no problem making this a 40 minute episode if that wasn't the case, but it is the case. So we're just gonna, we're gonna mosey on our way through here, slaughtering everything that we can. Uh, was that really, no, we need to kill, so we need to kill 21 more bandit warriors and five more giant bandits as well as I need to destroy, I need to, I don't even know what, there was something else up there that's now gone that I needed to do. Like, uh, I needed to get, like, knowledge on something. I thought it was, like, barracks, but I don't see any barracks. Um. Can I... Can, hello? Can I jump over the wall? Thank you. I need to find... need to find giants and defense captains. That's what we need to find right now. Warriors are fine. We do need to find those, but we need the giants. Here we go. Because those are the harder ones to find, I think. We need to find defense captains as well. Which I don't think there's many of those. I think there's like two spawns for them around here. And I think one is back here. Like, I think they can spawn back in this corner over here. If I just keep doing this, sir. Yeah. See here? Wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. One defense captain. Nice. So I think this guy will keep respawning here if I'm not mistaken. There's like a 20% chance I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, but I believe he'll keep spawning back here. So I'm just going to keep rotating around and coming back to that spot right there because I want to make sure I get that out of the way. Okay, this is a lot of enemies that I'm seeing on my screen of stuff I need to kill. So that's good. We're almost done with the bandit warriors. I want to get that quest like uh, minimized a little bit because then it'll be easier to tell what the heck I'm trying to find, I guess. Kill that guy. Okay, I think my commander should probably be respawned by now. There's another giant down. We need two more of those. And then I have no idea. Once we complete some quests here, I'll be able to figure out what the heck. And there's our third defense captain. Nice. So I need two more giants. Uh, is there a quest back here? Uh, it's up top. Hold on. Let's go around and grab this. Um, well, maybe... I don't know where it's... Okay. Okay. This is... What the heck did I just do? Can I... I, okay okay let's get let's get the giants done so that we can get that quest minimized to just saying turn in so hopefully another quest will pop up that i can see there's one more okay so i need one more giant sweet we're almost there we're almost there one more giant looks like there's some giants out here maybe let's go over here jump off hello giant all right so there's that quest done here's a bandit hut nice i was correct we did need to kill some bandit huts so yep there we go destroy bandit huts that should be another quest okay am i gonna get left alone looks looks like it okay so let's take a peek at the quest so complete 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 we need to destroy bandit barracks that's complete um, I think we completed it all. So let's summon the Black Spirit. Oh, we have inventory expansion slots. I'm gonna grab all this stuff. And we have the main quest, which is seize the orders. So I need bandit raid captains written orders. So we need to kill captains and defense captains, essentially. Okay, easy enough. So we're one out of three right now. Here's another raid captain. So we'll go ahead and kill him. I might cut this before the boss, and then we'll start the next episode with the boss. Because I believe there's a there's a bandit boss. Okay, so there's all that completed. Now we just got to kill bandit defense raid captain, which he'll just keep spawning here. I know that, so... I mean, I can go searching for another one. Ooh, there is another one somewhere out here. Where? Um, he was on my map. 
and then he disappeared. Okay. Well, I'm just going to sit here and slaughter stuff until he respawns up here. Free these guys. I kind of want to find, after he respawns one more time, I'm going to find, oh, it's up there, I see it, he's a node manager up at the top there. So yeah, I'm going to kill you. And then let's go check this out. How? Okay. It's like a hidden area, this is kind of weird, it's like hidden up here. Alright, hey buddy, this is my first time discovering this. For sure. On any console, I think. Securing an escape route. So, what do I need to do for this? We need to destroy bandit watchtowers. And there's the defense captain. Can you... Hey, buddy, can you just... Oh, my gosh. Can you please just drop your orders? Okay, so, well, while we're waiting, we might as well destroy some watchtowers. So, there's one watchtower down. Can't destroy that one. Go get this one down here. So there is half of our watchtowers. I guess I'll run down here real quick and get this watchtower. And then hopefully on the rotation back up. Um, well, the captain respawned, so let's go slaughter him. Maybe he'll drop his orders finally. Thank you, buddy. And, uh, let's see. We need one more watchtower. Is it going to respawn? Clutch. It respawned. Nice. No, it didn't respawn. Uh, can you just respawn? Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it for me. Respawn. It's not going to respawn. So, I'm going to have to jump down here. Okay, I guess I can't grab onto the edge of that and jump over. There we go. Right down here. There we go. Nice and easy completion. Let's go back up there. Turn the quest in. I think the next quest is boss or return to, like, the main area, which pretty much means the episode has come to a wrap, but we'll see. Might be another kill quest. I'm not entirely sure. Squeeze on through here. We're almost 35. And didn't grab the edge. Come on. There we go. I like this, that it's kind of like a hidden area up here. I never would have come up here if I didn't, like, randomly see that exclamation point on the map. Okay, don't even turn the quest into him. <laughs> turn it into someone else. All right. Well, we completed that. What's the next quest? Uh, the hidden spoils. So we need to learn about the bandit's treasure chamber. I think that's a good place to start the next episode. Uh, I think we've done enough for this one. Uh, so we'll start it off with that in the next episode. We'll also turn in all these quests. We've got a bunch of them complete. So that should be interesting to see what kind of loot we get from that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. Please check back later today for the very first PSO2 episode. It'd mean a lot if you just stopped by, gave it a couple seconds watch, and dropped a like. It would mean a lot to me. I've uh, been looking forward to that game a lot. So yeah, stop by later tonight, about 9, 10 Eastern. First video should be up, but I'll catch you guys later. Peace.